Malaria is a global issue. Um, Nigeria is a lot affected, a lot of deaths, children and all of that. So I would love to give better life to the people in my country and not just my country, to the globe at large. There are different types of the phytochemicals. For my work, I'm focusing on the polyphenols, which have been established to have different bioactivities, including the anti-malaria. Now I'm focusing on the seed of the sugar apple because that has not been explored before for anti-malaria. So the polyphenols, the phytochemicals in this seed, want to see its ability to be able to handle these um, parasites because polyphenols have been known to have a lot of bioactivities. Then with global warming, it's going to be more of a threat. I mean, there was malaria in England, there was malaria in Finland, and this can come back again. It's not an impossibility. Um, so, so yes, this is a major problem. Uh, but then the question is, what's the urgency for a drug right now? So if malaria broke out past, past artemisinin mm -hmm. and started spreading into the globally developed world, then, then approval rates would go faster. I've always believed that science is not a woman thing. It's a collaboration. That's why I'm so excited with my work, because I've got to work with the pharmacists. I've got to work with the medical doctors. Nobody can do it all alone. So we have to put our heads together. Um, two good heads, not just two heads. Two good heads are better than one. So.